Howdy folks, how we going? Thanks for joining me in the brewery. Uh, it's tasting day on the hazy pale that I did with the split new hops that I'd been sent ever so kindly by Kevy Bristol. Um, that was Luminosa and Superdelic. Uh, Luminosa's I think in its second season maybe like sort of commercially um super delic i think this is its first season uh sort of just sort of get some some beers around at the moment uh using the super delic um interestingly the cooper's recipe of the month for this month um was this the hot their hot slam which they do I don't know how often they do it, but they've done this is about their, I think about their fourth version of the Hop Slam IPA. Um, and this one is using the Super Deli Hops. Uh, I've not... Well, actually, no, I think I did see one beer recently which had Super Deli in it. Um, I can't think where it was or like what, the, what the brewery was or anything like that. But anyway... Um, this is her... That's a big thanks to... Uh, Kevin Bristol for sending me uh, a sample of both. Um, I've sent off the remains of both bags to uh, to some lucky Patreons. Thumbs up to all the Patreons. Cheers for your support. Um, there's a link down the bottom if you're interested in what they what that's all about. Uh, mainly keeps the channel going. Uh, so these are the beers. I said this is the same beer I used um, a grain mix. I'll post up the original brew day take and get back. Uh, but it's basically just a mix of some grains I had as I was putting them into um, in, the, in the buckets. And it just looked like it would be a good mix to make a hazy sort of pale ale with. So that's, that's what I did. Went with that. Uh, I made essentially a full batch. Uh, hopped, whirlpooled uh, and split at that point into two fermenters. And then dry hop them separately, one with the luminos or one with the superdelic. So uh, what we done was, I said the mixed hazy base. If you go back to the original burrito video, it's actually got a break. I've got a breakdown in there. I think I'm pretty sure I have of the actual grains that are in the mix, um, and that got me an original gravity of about 1044, 1045. Uh, we hopped with. Citra and El Dorado uh, in the boil, um, two late drops, and then a whirlpool hit again with the Citra and El Dorado. Leaning a little bit heavy on the Citra than the El Dorado, um, but that's just a combination I really like. It It just lays down a really nice, you know, juicy, solid foundation to work off. Um, and then I've done the dry hops on day, f I think it was about day three and day seven or day six. Uh, I, let me see what I've got it marked here anyway, because it, it did change from the original plan. Silly bugger. The original plan was day one. And day four, I think in the end I did it. Let's stick with <laughs> day one and day four, 15 grams of each. Now remembering that's in a split batch, so 23 litre batch got split down to about 11 litres of each. Uh, so it's about one point, about 1.3 grams a litre um, on two on two dry hops. That's not a big. Actually, 1.3 grams a litre. Um, but I said, not, not a big dry hop. But anyway, um, this is the Super Delic. And I've had this on on tap for about two weeks. The Luminosa hasn't got tap. It's only gone onto the keg yesterday, um, onto the tap yesterday. Um, so it's been sitting here in the keg at ambient. Um, and uh, look, the light froze it out. This glass on the right, it's a little bit deeper from from the light because most of the lights coming from the back here um 
But yeah, if I get them in the way, yeah, they are the same. <laughs> it just, so, I don't, I don't know how it's going to look. You guys look in there. Um, but, yeah, I can assure you they are the same beers. So they do look different, it's simply because of the lighting. Uh, look, the Luminosa is probably st a little... <laughs> a little heavier on the uh, on on the cloud on the haze uh, and again because I said this is yeah Super Deli's been in in the fridge for two weeks so it, it has a it, it has an amount of clearing it is starting to get a little bit of clarity uh, so anyway um. So Super Delix, New Zealand, the Luminosa is out of America, okay the Luminosa, this has got a little more, little more fruity on the nose. Okay, that's more fresh fruit. This is more a candy dried fruit. Um, they're very, very, very similar. And like I said, like the bulk of the, yeah, the hopping on these beers is coming from that Citroen El Dorado. So, it's just trying to, I'm hoping, <laughs> there's enough on these I can actually get some sort of difference on the flavour. But anyway, let's stop fucking faffing about and get into it. This has come up, it's actually, I'm, I'm pretty happy considering that this grain bill was a very much just, like I said, it was just a throw together. Um, just completely random yeah, amounts. It's come up really good. Okay. There is... There is noticeable difference um, on those two. As much as there's, as said, that underlying base is clearly, yeah, you know, off. Well, it's the same. There is certainly differences in the hops. Okay, that's the Luminosa. It's got a light, it's a sort of a it's a very light mandarin -y type of note. Um, it almost leads to a lemonade type of feel. Um, almost a tad sh sherbet. Uh, I mean, it's not in a massive way, but like that, that's holding against the other flavours that are there, yeah, which I'm, yeah, corresponding over here. Um, so you've got those citrusy, lemony, slightly tropical notes from the Citra and the El Dorado. Uh, and then you've just got this little layer of mandarin and like that feels like just a little bit of lemonade. It's almost like um, someone's taken a tropical juice and yeah, maybe made like a spritzer sort of thing and, and split it maybe yeah, about a third or a quarter of lemonade. Um, so you're just getting that lemonade sort of taste and the sort of vibe without it being yeah, over the top. That's nice. So I've been waiting to try this. So I said, I've had the Super Delicon for a couple of weeks and I've had a few goes at it. 
Uh, actually, it might have been three weeks it's been on. This was bottled, kegged, 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 kegged on the. Uh, there you go, that might help I get the right bloody thing. Okay, it's still the but recipe's still showing day one and day four on the hopping, so I mustn't have changed it. Because I would have changed it in the uh, profile. Um, bottle on the 24th of September, so it's one month old. Uh, so, actually, the Super Deli's probably been on in the keg fridge probably almost that whole time. So, it, it may have been on there in there for four weeks. I know it was on when the uh, cousin and the, bro and the brother were up for the picnic races, and that was. Yeah, that was three weeks ago, so yeah, probably is the four weeks. So I've been getting a little bit friendly with this one. Okay, that's that's carrying more gentle fruit a little grapefruit and it's like a candy lolly fruit kind of vibe um, sort of like um, like hard jubes that sort of thing But it's definitely pulling more towards a candy, a candy sort of vibe. Um, I've been seeing where people are describing the super delicate as having uh, a changing character as it as it develops in the brew as it, as it ages. Um, so I'm interested to see if, if that actually happens. Um, And I think the comments by memory were, were sort of about that, that, that candy note sort of coming on, you know, as it sat a little bit, as it developed. And I could probably, uh, look, I could probably agree with that a little bit. Uh, I think it has become a, a little more noticeable. But they're both, both hops are developing and displaying a nice, flavour. Um, certainly enough now I'm certainly interested to play, to play around a little bit more as a main player. Um, but the funny thing is I don't think I've seen a beer to date with Luminosa in it. In all honesty, it probably is a little bit, a little weak. So I think the super delicate there, it's bringing a nice, solid presence. Where I think the luminosa does tend to be a little bit, yeah, a bit of, maybe potentially a little bit overpowered. But look, it's certainly a, it's a nice hop. Um, yeah, it's worked. They've both worked nicely in the context of this beer. They're both settling nice with that Citra and El Dorado base. Um, so I think you could work both of these hops quite nicely into your own hazies or IPAs. That super delicate I think could possibly work in something like a red IPA um, to bring a little bit of that. Yeah, you know, a little, little bit of that fruit that you can sometimes, not everyone, but some some brewers like to use to just sit against some of the um, the stronger caramelly notes. But yeah, that's a 
that is a nice lot. The Super Dodge definitely um, my preferred of the two. And I was upset <laughs> after I um, so I brew these and then I, and I sort of put the the leftovers. I, I think I kept it. Like I think I had a hundred grams of each, so I had like seventy grams left over, and I sort of, sort of sent them out as uh, patron prizes. And I hadn't actually tasted the beer, so but as soon as I, like, I tasted this, I thought, "Oh, what did you do that for? You're going to want to play around with that some more." Um, but luckily, uh, Mullows, one of the the, um, the nearest beer monster to me, has in the only in the last little week has just bought, bought a big bag of Super Deli. Um, asked if I wanted some. I said, hell yes. Um, I said, I've got this, the, the packs to play around in the Coopers for it. Um, but I'm certainly going to, um, I think, play some more with it. So anyway, because they serve Luminosa, Super Deli. They both go all right. Give them a whirl if you like the, those flavours. I said, light soft soft citrus with a spritzy sort of a vibe um, or a more candy yeah sweeter traditional citrus vibe from the super deli take your pick or don't take your pick at all but either way they're done thumbs up again to Kevin Bristol the hopping mechanism you need hops, check him out. Links down, links down the bottom, he'll sort you out. He, he get you the big bags of hops for a bloody really good price. Um, and he's a bloody good fella, so support him as much as you can. Um, for me, I'm done. Got any comments or any questions on these? <laughs> drop, drop them down, down below in the comments. So the links, uh, if they're not here, they're certainly on the original brew day video. I will link that up. So there'll be links to be able to find the recipe and whatnot. But anyway, I said thumbs up to the Patreons. Cheers to all the subscribers of the channel. If you aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below. Ring the little bell so you don't miss any videos. Um, and give me a thumbs up if you like what's going on. But that's me, Little John. End of the week. Off to the cabin. Uh, this weekend, so it's the second weekend in a row where I can't get any brewing done, so I'm looking forward to next week where I can actually get a, get some beer made. But I have um, I have kegged up the uh, Loaded Dog Lager 2023 version, 2023, 2023 version of Loaded Dog has gone into kegs yesterday. Um, it's in there now. Uh, latest extractor Ganza, which is this fella sitting right here. I've, just I've just put that in the bottles so I'm just getting a final gravity sample on that um, that's an, that's a beer based around nut brown ale uh, that's so that'll be a little while off there's a another extractor gear to come in between that but anyway that's me I'm out of here so until I see you from the next video we brew and beer drinking beer or talking beer Good brewing.